Sports of the American Indoor Soccer Association. My name is Dave Parr. I'll be providing play-by-play -play commentary throughout the whole of tonight's matchup between the league-leading Canton Invaders and Chris Bartel's Kalamazoo Kangaroos. The rules come here with an 8-13 record. Canton has won 10 straight games, 20-3, including a tough 5-4 double overtime win last night in Milwaukee. It's the rules and the Invaders in Kalamazoo, Challenge 5. Stadium sees the visiting Canton Invaders from Ohio, actually down from Milwaukee. Up in Milwaukee last night they played a 5-4 double overtime win. As we said, Artie Kramer getting a goal at 8.03 into the second period of overtime. So the Invaders may come here somewhat tired tonight. Starting in goal, Bill Mamoski. And out on the field, the experienced Ian Anderson, Don Tobin. Kia, the offensive explosion for the Canton Invaders this season. So far, the league's top goal scorer. Mike Gower, Teddy Powers, Mark Christensen, Paul Cato, Dave Pierce. On the field for your Kalamazoo Kangaroos, coached by Chris Bartels. And in goal, Victor Petroni. Indoor soccer gets underway from Wings Stadium. Kalamazoo challenge five, seven and nine. Very proud to bring you professional indoor soccer in 1986. Pizarro gets it back to Namaskin. Namaskin in a little bit of trouble. Here's Mike Garrett. Powers briefly on Mark Garrett. Loses a shot and then hits Anderson. Deflects wide out to Dave Pierce. Pierce. Gets it back out to Tony Wicker. Wicker plays it inside. Tobin in there to clear things up. And Pisano will bring it out. And back again. Canton with its most experienced line out there. Number 19. Both number 19s battling. Tony Wicker judged to have tackled on fairly. Dan Tobin on the boards. Christensen intercepts from Kia. And Steve Olsen, a late call, but gives it to the Kangaroos. And Petroni gets his first touch of the ball. Joe Pavlik, Neil Ridgway, Kevin Flynn, Glenn Irvine. Coming out onto the field for Chris Bartel's team. The Canton Invaders coached by Trevor Dawkins former soccer player in Great Britain for West Ham United. Here's Pisano. Ridgeway intercepts Pisano's pass and it comes back down to Joe Pavlek. Pavlek trying to weave his way through the last two men on the Canton Invaders and the Invaders trying to break. Here's Anderson, if you can put it square, there's a chance for a goal on Pikulczynski. Somehow missed that one when it was surely easier to score. And the Roos breathe a sigh of relief. Ian Anderson found himself into a great position. He crossed the ball. And Petroni there. Stopping that one. Here's Flynn at the red line. Remains to be seen as the game goes on just how tired the Canton Invaders are. Playing one and a half games last night. And that double overtime. Ridgeway's cross, met by fellow Englishman, Don Tobin. Back to Namaski. Ken Lola. And Tim Tima just got off the suspension list after 20 minutes of him penalties. He had to miss out a game. And now back for Trevor Dawkins' team, Lola. Inside, but well taken away by Ted Powers. Powers holding off Ken Lola. Off on the far side, number six, Mark Christensen. Just over two and a half minutes into this contest to win stadium, no score. Paul Cato to Garrett. Powers calling for the ball, gets it inside to Powers. Powers turns Tima, gets it inside to Mike Garrett, who shoots and puts it wide. Chance for the Roos. And here's Ali Kramer. Pizarro, a rather wild pass. Dave Pierce controls that one. Back to Dave Pierce again from Paul Cato. Mike Garrett. Pierce. The Roos 
record against the Invaders so far this season, 0-3, but they've played them very tough all three games. Chris Bartel is looking for his first victory of the season against Trevor Dawkins' team tonight. Here's Mike Garrett, trying to get himself into some space, just holds onto the ball a little too long. And the Invaders trying to come away with it, Namoski. Tim Tina. Kramer and Cato battling for the ball. Powers comes up with it. And back to Christensen. The Roos building things slowly. Mike Gowd on the boards. Trying to show some fancy footwork and get past the Canton Invader defence. Is Tobin. Pisano on a run. Wicker gets that one on the boards. Very nicely done by Tony Wicker. And it comes back to Joe Pavlek. Pavlek nicely gets it back to Petroni and away goes Ridgeway. But Ian Anderson, a good job of covering near Ridgeway. Tobin. Oscar Pisano. The, the man the fans love to hate here at Wing Stadium. Kia. Back off the boards, Irvine, Irvine clears it out to Joe Pavlik. Chance for break and Pavlik just overruns it. And Pisano clear things up. Five minutes into the contest at Wynn Stadium, no score. Tobin, beaten by Irvine, Pavlik taken down. Petroni coming out. Oh, we'll only gets it out as far as Tobin. Tobin trying to get it across, comes loose and Tony Wicker clears that one away. Team just seem to be once again testing each other out. We know each other pretty well by now. They played in the playoffs last season. Invaders winning three games to one. Oh, and Kia gets in! Kia right on the corner and out of nothing, the Invaders score. Five minutes and 20 seconds, just as we were telling you about the playoffs last season. Kia finds himself unmarked on the edge of the box. And a sweet right foot shot beats the diving Victor Petroni. And the Roos find themselves down by one goal. And Kia, the man who has scored 39 goals, that makes his 40th goal on the season, remains firmly atop the AISA leaderboard. And a good start for the Invaders. See what the Roos can do. Tobin. Tobin trying to hold off the challenge of Joe Pavlik. Back down to Ian Anderson. Pizarro on the red line. Pizarro weaving his way through. He's going to get a shot in. Comes off the board. Back to Glenn Irvine. Irvine across the goal to Tony Wicker. Flynn. Cato down to Dave Pierce. Kevin Flynn pushing forward for Kalamazoo. Steve Olsen calls a pushing foul on Art Kramer. It's Ridgeway. Ridgeway got pushed down by Ian Anderson, but he gets back up. No foul called. Here's Cato, or Cato, depending on which side of the stadium is sitting on it seems, Paul's name seems to change. Schlothauer back on defence. Hans Meyer. Puts his hand up, ball went out of bounds. Kick into the Kalamazoo Kangaroos, 7.53 remaining in the first period. The Invaders leading by one goal to nothing. Long ball played forward, 
Powell's trying to get that one. Seaman, Powell's battling. Powell's comes away with it. Tries to get it back inside to Christensen. Christensen shot! And a good save from the Mosky and Pierce. Just couldn't quite get the rebound. Petroni's going to come all the way out to the red line. Who plays it out to Dave Pierce? Candelara battling. And gets it to Kramer. Good challenge by Christensen. Pushing foul on Canton. Here's Christensen. The mask is going to come out. He didn't reach that one. Powell's headed it up. Cato. Cato's got to be careful here. He's got to push it back. Not too much support for Paul Cato there. Christensen. Once again, the invaders doing a good job of pushing Kalamazoo back. And Cato doing a good job. He's going to do it all on his own. Here's Pierce. Pierce again, and Cato puts it wide. It's going to come back to Matt Garrett. Nice play by Garrett. He's brought down. Steve Olsen, everybody at Wayne Stadium showing Steve Olsen the two-minute blue cards, which the fans have been given. A couple of people even showing him three. Part of the promotion here at Wayne Stadium. Here's Dave Pierce, runs over the ball, leaves it for Garrett. Garrett plays it inside. Powers misses that one. It's going to come back out to Powers though. With a shot, and that's high over the top, back into section 29. 6.46 remaining in the first period. Kalamazoo down by one goal to the Canton Invaders. Explain the two minute blue card. Each fan here at Wing Stadium has been given a two minute blue card, which led a wave when they see an infringement against the Kalamazoo Kangaroos in the hope of helping the referees make their mind up to give the call to Kalamazoo. The Mosque and Anderson back in the goal. Moski out to Pisano. Nice play by Oscar Pisano, but cleared well by Irvine. Pavlik calling for the ball. Ridgeway gets it out to Pavlik. Glenn Irvine on the overlap. Pavlik gets a shot in, comes back off the balls, and the Moski all in all sorts of trouble. Missed the ball off the rebound. Bill Moski, one of the uh, shakiest goalies in the league. He's got a good record, but he's also got a very good defence. Namaski gingerly coming up towards the red line with the ball. Out to Ian Anderson. Ball played forward and Irvine heads that one away to Joe Pavlik. Pavlik sent that one high. Wicker. Look here. Gets the pass, plays it down inside to Pikusinski. Flynn Irvine pushing Pikusinski against the boards. Steve Olsen had the audacity to put his hand in his pocket almost as if he was reaching for a blue card on that one. Don Tobin's going to take this kick in. Taken away by Kevin Flynn. Here's Anderson. Anderson all the way back to Namoski. Ball played forward. Here's Kevin Flynn. Good play by Pavlik. Can Ridgeway get hold of this one? Tobin beats him to it. Oh, nice play by Don Tobin. Here's Pisano. Challenged by Flynn. Tobin back again to Anderson. Canton having difficulty getting it forward. Finally get across the Ridge red line and back again. Pisano. Pisano takes a dive and Keogh gets the ball. 4.45 remaining. Here's Tobin. 
Clear on the run inside off the boards and Petroni does well to collect that one. And away comes Kevin Flynn. Ridgeway forward for the rules. He's going to have to get this one off the boards. Looking for some support. He gets it down only as far as Bill Lemoski. Rod Slaughter and Tima. Tom Condrich gets it back for the Invaders. And Tima again, Gal trying to get that one. Nice play by the Invaders at this time. Trying to capitalize on it, get it out to Art Kramer. Got to go back. Here's Slaughter. Back out to Tom Condrich. Canton content to just contain the ball for the next few seconds is Christensen. As the Roos trying to make a breakaway. Away goes Christensen, but his pass a poor one and watch that how gets it back to Condrich. Condrich square to Tim Tima. Condrich. Intercepted by Christensen. And away comes Tima. Looking to get the shot. He gets it off the board to Kato. And Kato nicely back to Petroni. Three minutes, 11 seconds remaining in the first period here at Wayne Stadium. 1-0 Trevor Dawkins. Canton Invaders leading this game. Here is Pierce. Dave Pierce for Kalamazoo. Still with the ball. Mike Gow trying to go on the overlap. Create some space for Pierce to get the shot in. His shot blocked and Canton with the ball again. Conduit. Nice ball out to Tim Seema. Tina plays it inside, but what a good start by Paul Cato. Mike Garrett. Cato, Pierce, nice one-two play by Cato and Pierce. His powers. Dave Pierce in a little bit of space. Garrett. The loose pass is just going a little astray at the moment. Two minutes remaining. And there's an example of it, Dave Pierce straight to Tim Tima. It's going to come back to Ken Lala. Lala's got Pikusinski running on the far side, but not much else on for him. Tobin to Kia. Kia back to Pizarro. Pizarro shot off the boards. Here's Cato. Pisano. Shot blocked by Christensen. Here's Petroni. Glenn Irvine. Pavlik. Out to Kevin Flynn. Wicker. Oh, nice play by Wicker. And the Mosky misses that one again, and Kevin Flynn just couldn't quite run into it. Good play by Tony Wicker to get that ball across to Ridgeway. Kevin Flynn in space. And Ian Anderson taps it back to Namoski. It's Kia. Score the only goal of the game so far. 46 seconds to go. He gets around Wicker. But just overruns the ball. Flynn. And Steve Olsen somehow saw an offence in that one. Free kick to the Kalamazoo Kangaroos. Petroni out to Kevin Flynn. Exciting indoor soccer action from Wing Stadium. Kalamazoo Kangaroos nothing. The Canton Invaders won. 23 seconds remaining. In the first period, here's Ridgeway, the captain of the Kalamazoo Kangaroos, the top scorer so far. Gets it out to Tony Wicker. 
Ricker in space. Gets it back to Flynn. Flynn trying to get the shot off. Blocks his clever Oh, he puts it over the top. And what a golden opportunity for the Roos. And now Joe Pavlik in on the far side. And that's the end of the first period of indoor soccer. And the Roos have had a few chances, but it's Kia's lone goal. Five minutes and 20 seconds into the first period that gives the Invaders a lead of by one goal. We'll be right back with second period action. for so long and also Jim you and I did play by play on wider and this is your last home game. Well, that's a little while Dave I'm going to be moving to the Great White North here in a couple of weeks. We're going to have to Travis City? Uh, close it's about 40, uh, about 40 miles west of Travis City in a town called Frankfurt. Frankfurt then zone near that area. And what are you going to be doing that about? I'll be losing sports director of the station uh, WBNZ. It's a new acquisition I guess of foreign communications and uh, We'll be going up there and trying to turn the fish around, make money out of it, and have some fun. But Jim, you're going to miss the kangaroos. Very much so. This has been a big part of my life the case here in maybe a half, and uh, I really, really miss some little soccer. Dave says he's going to mail me the, 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 the press releases, but it doesn't it doesn't come close to watching it in person. But Jim, whenever you're back in town, you got to come down and miss some comments. Uh, yes. Matter of fact, I've been invited back. What is it, February 16th, yeah, I guess, for the media uh, game. I guess you and I are going to get out there and well, I'm not show sure what we don't know. know but, uh, <laughs> It's a little bit of pleasure. We had a good time doing the, the, the games last year on Wider, and it's been a lot of fun. Well, Jim, thanks very much, and All stop right. by during the game. Thank you. Sure will. Go right. over and yell at Oscar somewhere. Okay, good luck. <clears throat> See you guys. I need a two. Mine's from wider but we did the broadcast of the playoff games and some of the latest season games here's Cato Cato shot saved by Namaski beginning of the second period the invaders up by 1-0 and GM also of course doing some access cameras with Kangaroo Soccer to TV here's Paz to Pierce Dave Pierce shot off the boards in comes Paz Namaski lost it but got it in the second bite Tina. Pizzano back to Namovsky. Canlala was looking for the breaking man, trying to find Kramer. The clock by Mike Garrett. Here goes Pierce. Pierce, nicely over the top to Christensen. Christensen back to Gout on the edge of the box. Mike Gout trying to weave his way, gets a shot off and scores! Oh, I say, Mike Gout! Got himself on the edge of the box, and what a nice shot by Mike Gout! And the assist going to Mark Christensen. One minute and seven seconds into the second period. And Mike Garrett scores for the Roos. That brings the fans to Light Hill Wing Stadium tonight. Tobin. Kuczynski trying to get around his man. Glenn Irvine trying to get in the tackle, that was Flynn. And a chance now, Petroni! Almost missed out on that one, but good play by Pavlik. Pavlik out to Ridgeway. And Ridgeway out to Pavlik again, nice play by these two. Kevin Flynn moving forward. But Tobin's going to get the ball. Tobin, across the red line. Off the ball to Pikusinski, Glenn Irvine marking him. Here's Irvine. 
The space, Kevin Flynn. Flynn doing a good job of holding the ball, but then runs into one too many players. Two on two break for the invaders, and good play by Tony Wicker. Here's Oscar Pizzano. 1-1 one, one the score. Early few minutes of the second period. Pizzano just had the ball taken away from him at the last moment. And finally Ridgeway and Irvine sort it out and get it away from him. It's Flynn. Here's Wicker. Ridgeway running forward. Ridgeway. And he's shot and the Mosque couldn't even get a hand to it. Deflected it up with his knee. Kramer. Anderson. Anderson into Kramer. Nice play. And Tony Wicker again with a good saving tackle. Back out to Petroni. Eleven thirty-two remaining in the second period. One one the score. Here's Ridgeway. Ridgeway to Christensen. Christensen back to Dave Pierce and Pierce out to Cato. Garrett. Here's Matt Garrett. Inside. Oh, and gets it right across the goal. And he's furious at Steve Olsen for not calling that one. Christensen will try and get it back out. Cato. Cato. Oh, it's a post. Bowers misses an open neck goal. And a chance for the Roos to go in the lead. Pisano, back to Tima and the Canton Invaders find themselves on 1-1 when really they should have been 2-1 down. Kondrich, inside to Walsh how he has to go back to Tima. And Tim Tima forced back to Namoski. Namoskali gingerly once again coming forward to the red line. Plays this ball forward. Cato heads it out of the way of Kramer. Slot how with the shot. Back to Christensen. Christensen out to Mike Gallard. Just over 10 minutes remaining in the first half. 1-1. One, one. Christensen. Oh, nice play by Gallard. And Christensen elected to head that one down. Lala. Kia. And Kia. Tackled by Mike Garrett. Canton likes to take that free kick very quickly. Referee right on top of the situation. I wasn't going to let him do that. It's Kia. Oh, nicely played. And a good block by Paul Cato. Here's Cato again. Cato trying to get past them all. And Kia and Tima. It's Tima and Paul Cato battling. And Tim Tima, not known for cleanliness out there. And we, the Roos get the free kick. Not the cleanest play you've ever seen. Here's Cato. Cato shot. Boom, right off the boards. Comes back out to Kia. Bikizinski. Puts that one over the top and Ridgeway makes a save on the rebound. Free kick Kalamazoo. 
think so. No, they've got a free kick to the invaders out of that one. Tim Team is still upset, but he'll probably remain upset for the rest of the game. 9-14 remaining in this contest. It's getting quite heated now here at Wayne Stadium. 1-1 one, one the score. The league-leading Canton Invaders against Chris Bartels, Kalamazoo Kangaroos. Battling for a spot for third place in the American Indoor Soccer Association. Christensen back to Petroni, but he doesn't kick it there. He decides to take it across the goal himself. Ridgeway on the run. Garrett. Garrett's going to try and get a shot off here. Garrett with a shot. And a save from the Mosque. Here's Oscar Pisano. Tobin. Pisano gets himself into a little bit of space. Blocked by Pavlik and cleared away by Kevin Flynn. Flynn tries to get it away. Free kick. And Pisano complaining again. Tobin complaining as well. He's going Irvine. He's got to go back to Petroni. Irvine out to Wicker. Wicker pushed down. And a free kick given to Kalamazoo. Long free kick taken off the boards. Here's Pavlek. Pavlek battling with Pizzano. Here's Flynn. Flynn out to Glenn Irvine. Ridgeway looking on the far post. And Glenn Irvine. Wicker trying to get clear into space. He's got to pass it out to Kevin Flynn. 7.42 remaining in the first half. 1-1 one, one the score. The Roos trying to get somebody in position to get a shot off. Irvine. Inside to Pavlik, Pavlik pushed down. Canton Invaders have five, four fouls against them. Six foul rule will come into operation if they get another two within the next seven minutes and 26 seconds. When a team gets six fouls in indoor soccer, they are automatically assessed a two minute bench penalty. Here's Don Tobin, Schlodhauer, Ian Anderson, Anderson inside, good play by Glenn Irvine. Petroni, well he's gone forward, he's got two men behind him, rather unusual decision that the Roos make a quick line change, so you can see why Victor did that, I think. Tina tries to take on one too many. Powers, but Kramer getting back. There's Tina again. Good play by Cato, hustling Tom Condit back on defense. Kondic, nice play, here's Slodha, inside and right across the face of the goal, it's going to come back to Petroni, Petroni out to Pierce, good play by Dave Pierce, gets himself into some space, nice play by Pierce, his powers, his shot hits the post and comes back out, and the invaders will come away with it, here's Walt Slodha, across the halfway line, gets it off to Kondic, Kondic for the Canton Invaders looking to get the shot in. Blocked by Paul Cato. And here's Pierce. Mike Gall on the outside. Good play by Dave Pierce in his shot. Straight into the arms of Bill Namoski. The Roos coming alive at the moment. Canton. Kramer. Two on one. Here's Kia. And Kia with a fine save from Victor Petroni. Oh, that's a superb save, and that's why he's the number one goalie in the league. Here's Pavlik. 
Pavlik, uh, without a doubt, he was obstructed on that play. But the referee not looking in that direction. Cantona calling a timeout. 5.04 remaining and Trevor Dawkins sees things going a little haywire on the invader bench and on the field, so he decided to call a timeout. Soccer action from Wing Stadium, home of the Kalamazoo Kangaroos of the America Indoor Soccer Association. 5.04 remaining in the first period. Game on the score. The muscular with the ball. Lemoski gets himself into trouble, here's Pavlik, and Pavlik tried to get it down to Ridgeway. Pekusinski, out on the far side, Don Tobin, 4.39 remaining in the first period, in the first half I beg your pardon. Pisano. Pisano gets past Pavlik, off the boards, right across the goal, and Pavlik tries to get it away. Across the face of the goal, and away come the Roos. Pavlik, Flynn running one way, Ridgeway on the other side. And Pavlik has to hold it. And intercepted, and here's Irvine. Irvine out to Ridgeway. 3.54 remaining in the first half. Irvine inside to Tony Wicker. Anderson gets that one away for Cancer. Here comes Tobin. Tobin out to Anderson. And Tony Wicker. And Glenn Irvine back on defense trying to hold him. Free kick to Missouri, and that's a six foul rule and two minute penalty assessed to the Canton Invaders. It's going to give the Roos a power play for two minutes with 3.22 remaining in the first half. This broadcast going out on four separate cable access stations. Catch it on the evening of February the 4th, February the 6th, and February the 10th. chance maybe to go into the lead for the first time in this game. 1-1, 3-13 remaining. Mike Garrett, Dave Pierce, Paul Cato, Ted Powers and Neil Ridgway, the firepower men for Chris Bartel's team out on the field at the moment. Ridgway, back to Cato. Cato's shot just goes wide. It's going to come back to Pierce. Dave Pierce gets it back out to Mike Garrett. Minute 25 remaining on the power play. It's Powers! Powers shot! Knocked away by Bill Namoski. Here's Kato and he knocks that one over the top. Almost hitting Mike Starker, the cameraman for News Act 3. Should we say new sauce Here's 
Kramer. Kramer gets it down to Steve Flick. Lala being challenged by Pierce. Gets it back to Tina. One minute remaining on the power play to the rules. It's Petroni. Pierce. Nice play and away comes Kalamazoo. Chance now. Dave Pierce streaking in on the far side. Free kick to Canton. Taken quickly by Tima. Steve Flick. The contender just hold this one. Played lazily after our Kramer. Kramer beaten. Paz and Tima. Back to Namovsky. Namovsky, the long throw forward. Mike Garrett, back to Petroni. The Ruth power play. Not doing too much at the moment. They've still got 22 seconds. Here's Pierce. Pierce. This pass way behind near Ridgeway. He's got to stop and turn. Ridgeway to the edge of Stu Frick. Here's Garrett. Pierce and Powers right in the centre. Ridge, that's Kato Ridgeway running in on that one. Here's Pierce. And the invaders very successfully killed a power play by the Roos. Here's Kato. Kato's shot blocked. It's going to come back to Mike Garrett. Garrett. And Ridgeway, his shot! The ball is loose in the penalty area and they couldn't get it away. Ridgeway knocking down Steve Frick. Free kick to the Canton Invaders. Just 56 seconds remaining in the first half. Trevor Dawkins may be a little upset that uh, Tom Condit served the penalty and he spent a few, maybe a few seconds too long in the penalty box for some reason. But maybe the reason Dawkins is upset. The fans are away with Trevor Dawkins. There's nothing Steve Olsen can do about it now. Game gets underway again. 1-1. One, one. 55 seconds remaining. In the first half, Pisano. Petroni comes out and clears this one down the line. As far as Tima. Tobin. Anderson and Wicker. And a 6 foul is going to be called on Kalamazoo at 14.22. And the Roos had to hang on for 55 seconds. They couldn't quite do it. And the invaders are going to have the power play. Team comes on. Mike Gibbons, Kevin Flynn, and here's Gibbons, beaten by Tobin. Gibbons, Flynn, O'Shea, and Wicker. Good shot and a good save. O'Shea gets it out to Petroni. And away goes Gibbons. Knocked down by Anderson. Pisano, 10 seconds remaining. Pisano, long ball forward. And here's Gibbons, not too much they can do now, one second remaining. And that's the end of the first half of professional indoor soccer from Wing Stadium and Chris Bartel's team holding the Canton Invaders, the leaders of this league, to a 1-1 one -one tie. The Invaders on the power play when they come back. We'll be right back with a second half in just a few seconds. At half time, Kalamazoo won, Canton won. <laughs> Go 
Welcome back to the second half of indoor soccer action from Wing Stadium. Kalamazoo Kangaroos won. The Canton Invaders won. The power play for Keo and his crew. The beginning of the second half. Keo, Ian Anderson, Oscar Pisano, Don Tobin, Walt Slothauer out on the field for the Invaders. The penalty killing team and they've got to do it for the next 1 minute 20 seconds. For the lose, Kevin Flynn, Mike Gibbons, Nick O'Shea. And Tony Wicker, the first was seen of Gibbons and O'Shea, is on this power play, the power play killer team, killing team. Petroni comes up with a save, he's looking to hold that one down to Gibbons. Out to Anderson. Tobin. Tobin, oh that's a good shot from Don Tobin, comes down by to Pizzano, his shot hits the post. And the rules so far, so good, they've got 43 seconds to go on this power play. Kia, and Tobin, with Flynn, Flynn gets that one out as far as Anderson. Anderson, his shot up off the boards. And Petroni, he was out of the penalty box. And that's uh, Steve Olsen, elects to not give a two minute penalty. Twenty-five seconds remaining on the pathway to the Canton Invaders. Schlatter out to Gibbons and Gibbons will clear that one down. What a good job by Mike Gibbons and almost in on that one for me and Anderson. Here's Pizzano. Pizzano takes on O'Shea and it comes back to Schlatter and Schlatter with a drilling left foot shot. With just nine seconds remaining on the power play. And Ross Schlatter gets a second bite and makes no mistake. And it's 2-1, the Invaders leading. One minute and 13 seconds into the second half. The Roos have got to come from behind again. Here's Kato trying to take on Tima. It's going to come back to Paul Kato. Garrett inside to Paris. Paris still with the ball. What a good job Ted Paris is doing. But finally, Tim Tima clears things up at the back. Here's Schlotha. Lala. Schlotthauer trying to get another shot off. Good play by Paz. Free kick. Here's Pierce. Here's Pierce. Out out to Garrett. And Cato. Kato trying to get around his powers and Kato and powers goes down. And confusion on the Canton defense. Here's Kato and Garrett and cleared out by Tim Seymour. Kramer. Garrett. Tina and Kia on the break. Here's Kia. And the referee's given a free kick to the loose. Kato and Gal trying to come for that one, gets out to Kia. 11 minutes 50 seconds remaining in the third period. Kato. Back on defense, what a good 
big shot. Pavard just overruns that, puts his team in maybe a little bit of trouble. Three on one break here. He missed it. Well, that's a relief for Victor Petroni. Suddenly he found himself with a three on one break after Joe Pavlik's mistake. And Kia put that one over the top. Petroni comes out of his box, trying to get that one. Pikusinski dives over Petroni. Anderson, blocked by Ridgeway. Good play by Ridgeway. Neil Ridgeway on his own, trying to look for some support. Well, Neil Ridgeway did a good job there, he had to hold it up. Here's Pavlek. Ridgeway calling for it. Good ball fought by Pavlek, and the Moscow punches it forward. Ridgeway trying to get in on Anderson. Anderson. Tobin out to Anderson again. Canton trying to get things in motion here. Here's Irvine. Ridgeway out to Tony Wicker. Here's Kevin Flynn. Flynn leads the charge. Ridgeway! Oh, and Joe Pavlik right on the far post. Here's Flynn. Tony Wicker's got space. Wicker is going to let one fly. Oh, and a good job by Pisano to block that one. Glenn Irvine. Pavlek. Irvine. Wicker again clearing space calling for the ball. Wicker's got a chance to go forward. Wicker just over the top and cleared away by Pisano. Here goes Pikusinski. It's gone too far. Back to Petroni. Petroni, that's a bad ball by him. And puts the team in a little bit of trouble. But Kia has to hold it up. The Roos do well to get back on defense. It's Kia. Oh, creates the space and Petroni makes the save. Kevin Flynn, 2 on the score. The Invaders leading on Walsh Schlotthauer's goal. Coming at 1.13 of this period on the power play. Irvine out to Ridgeway. Pavlek. Off the boards to Kevin Flynn. Nice play by Flynn. Good shot and just over the top. Here's Ridgeway and Pavlek. Both teams playing good defense at the moment. Who's trying to get a line change? Wicker. Petroni. Christensen. Nice play by Mark Christensen. Mark Christensen on his own coming forward. Good play. Paz off the boards. And Muskie comes out to collect that one in front of Glenn Irvine. Schlotthauer back to Tima. Here's Tom Kondrich. Kondrich plays the ball forward. Petroni out of his goal. He's going to go back to the red line. Turns Kato and Kato on a good job blocking that shot. Oh, Kato playing a good game tonight for Chris Bartels, Kalamazoo Kangaroos. Pierce, well, he wouldn't pass it, and he finally got himself into trouble. He's Kramer. And Pierce. For the Kalamazoo Kangaroos. Gets it out to Mike Garrett. Garrett back to Kato. Eight minutes remaining in the third period. Pierce. Oh, good job by Dave Pierce. And Steve Olsen gives the call to the Roos. Off the boards inside his teamer. 
Gets it back out to Slaughter. It's going to come back down to Mark Christensen. Christensen makes Kato run, uh, makes Kramer run as far as he can before he passes it. Here's Lara Kondrich. Tom Kondrich going on his own. Gets the shot off, comes back, and Petroni makes the save. Here's Paz. Paz brought down by Tim Seymour. Here's Teddy Paz. Oh, nice play, and then just stepped on at the last moment. Cato. Inside, Paz just missed that one. Slaughter. There he goes, pickers in speed down the center. Christensen marking him. Kondrich. Kondrich trying to create some space. Ken Lara gets it back to Kia. And Tim Tima, 6.42 remaining in this third period. 2 1. The invaders leading. There's that man, Oscar Pizarro, again. Pukasinski. And good play, and Padlek just overruns it again. And Joe Padlek, very unlucky, two times in a row this game. Christensen, good play by him, gets him back down into the heart of invader territory. Pizarro's got to use Namoski. The ball comes out to Don Tobin of the Invaders. Gets it back again. Uses Ian Anderson. Here's Pisano. That play by the, by the Moscow almost let in Joe Pavlik. Pisano. Free kick, Kalamazoo. Petroni out to Kevin Flynn. Flynn to Glenn Irvine. Irvine, Ridgeway goes down. Away comes Pisano. There's Tobin. Tobin, across the box. Ridgeway gets it clear. Joe Pavlek. Nice play by Pavlik. All three players on the left-hand side as we look. Ridgeway. Ridgeway aimlessly forward to the Mosque. Here's Kia for the Invaders. 4.55 remaining. Your cameraman and technical director tonight, Mr. Tom Saladegui, as he will be for the rest of the Roos Soccer 86, which you can follow on Kalamazoo Access. Check your local listings in the Kalamazoo Gazette for the times this broadcast is on. Steve Olsen with a rather embarrassing call from his point of view. He's given it to the Kalamazoo Kangaroos. And he may even have changed his mind. That sort of sums up Steve Olsen quite a bit. Well, he's given a drop ball. When in doubt, give a drop ball. Try again. And the loose come out with it in this one. Here's Glenn Irvine. Irvine. Free kick to the Kalamazoo Kangaroos, the Invaders. Get the six foul rule. Tim Seymour comes storming out of the bench.
the Kalamazoo Kangaroos, 4 17 remaining in this third period, and the Roos have a power play. Dave Pierce, Mike Gap, Paul Cato, Teddy Powers, and Captain Neil Ridgeway. Here's Ridgeway back out to Pierce with a booming shot, and comes Teddy Powers in the penalty area. The Canton Invaders get that one away to Victor Petroni. Four minutes remaining in the third quarter. 2 1, the Invaders leading. Cato in space. Here is Paul Cato. And Steve Frick will try and get it away. Here's Cato. Oh, nice play by Paul Cato. And Ridgeway. Oh, and he hits the Mosky. And Tim Tima gets that one away. Here's Kato. Good play by Paul Kato with a good shot and a good save. And the Muskie that hits his back and he dives on it, knocking Tima down. But one minute remaining in the power play. Here's Mike Gare uh, for Kalamazoo. 3 8 remaining. Kato, Kato on his fast Tima, and Lala, Lala gets that one away. Pierce to Kato, oh and Kato slips down, and away come the invaders. Lala, midway back. Here's Mike Garrett. Pushed down by Steve Flick. <laughs> 16 seconds on the power play. Here's Cato. Powers unmarked. It's going to come out to Pierce. Oh, and he drills that one way over the top. the field for the Kalamazoo Kangaroos for its first appearance of the night. And both teams back to full strength with two minutes and nine seconds remaining. Wicker, good job of getting the ball away from Kia. And that's the sixth foul on Kalamazoo. minutes and four seconds remaining in the third period and the Canton Invaders have the power play. Tony Wicker blocks that shot from Ian Anderson. Here's Tobin. Dave Pierce on the penalty box. There's the sixth foul. O'Shea trying to get it away from Anderson. It's going to come back to Anderson now, though. And Tobin. Tobin. On the edge of the box. Here's Pisano. Anderson. Tobin. Good play by Don Tobin. His shot goes wide to Schlotha. Minute 18 remaining on the power play for the Invaders. They lead it. 2-1. Anderson. Oscar Pisano, good save from Petroni, and Wicker gets that one away. O'Shea does a good job clearing it downfield. 
minute two remaining in the third. 56 seconds on the power play. The shot and here's Ken Flynn gets it away. Tobin. O'Shea tries to block that one is Pisano. Tobin once again on the edge of the box. Anderson, the shot blocked by Flynn. Flynn will try and clear it away. 30 seconds remaining on the power play to the invaders. Oscar Pizzano off the boards, it's going to come clear to Schlatter, and he hits the top of the crossbar. Tobin, 15 seconds remaining on the power play. Tobin tries a shot, it's gone wide, Pizzano back to Anderson. Right across the goal is Kia. Schlatter getting right across the goal and the Roos hanging, hang on and clear the power play. Is Kia. And that's the end of the third period. And once again, we've averaged just one goal a period, one goal in the first period from Kia for Canton, one goal in the second for Mike Garth for Kalamazoo, and Mark Slaughter gets the goal and puts the Invaders up 2-1. We'll be back with the fourth and final period in just a few seconds. from back from the fourth and final court of indoor soccer action here at Ring Stadium. The rules are down by two goals to one and just killed off a Canton power play. Here's Mike Garrett. Mike Garrett trying to get his shot in. Paz. Paz gets it back to Garrett. Garrett shot. Goes between the Muskies legs and comes out to Christensen. Pierce. Seaman knocks that one away. Paz, Paz off the boards. Good play by Ted Paz. Out to Cato. On Petroni. And Paz knocks that one away and it's going to be a kick into Canton. Here's Garrett again. And Kato's pushed back. Garrett. Oh, nice ball played to you by Paz. Christensen. Well, the loose player's a little scared to take a shot, it seems, at the moment. Gowd and Pierce stepping into each other. Here's Kato. Let's see what he can do. Kato takes the shot. Out to Kia. To the legs of Artie Kramer and out to Mark Christensen. 13 minutes and 10 seconds remaining in this game. The Roos are down by two goals to one against the league leading and defending AISA champion Canton Invaders. Powers. Oh, nice play. But only as far as Kia now. Christensen, oh my word, and a chance here for Lolo if he can get in. But the Roos get back on defense. Here's Pikusinski, gets a shot, blocked by Cato, and out to Christensen. Here's Pikusinski now, right across the goal, Kia! And Kia had an open get goal and he missed it. Petroni holding the ball looking for some distribution 
And Peter Ford on the field now for the lose. Tony Ricker near Ridgeway. And Petroni gets that one off as far as Ian Anderson. Three lines, no. Inside the box was Ian Anderson, so that's okay inside the red line. The way comes Glenn Irvine. Ridgeway Ford with Peter Ford. Irvine! Oh, and Peter Ford just put it over the top. Kalamazoo Kangaroos 1, the Canton Invaders 2, 12 minutes and 13 seconds remaining in this very close contest here at Wing Stadium tonight. Namoski coming out of his goal. Here's John Tobin for Canton. Tobin off the boards. Glenn Irvine does well to get it back to Petroli. Tony out to Kevin Flynn. Wicker. Canton players falling down like flies. And the Roos players running all over each other now. A chance for Pikusinski. And he was looking for some support. And Trevor Dawkins got the line change. And the Roos can breathe a sigh of relief. Here's Peter Ford. Out to Kevin Flynn. The passes from both teams are just going haywire in this corner. Petroni clears that one out to Ridgeway. Knocked up out, Kramer. Two on two, Kramer gets a shot off and Petroni makes the save. Wicker. Gets it back to Kevin Flynn. And Flynn out to Glenn Irvine on the red line near Ridgeway beaten by Pisano Pisano will try and bring it forward for the invaders he steps on the ball he's going to look back and in the end gets it up to Don Tobin Good play by Glenn Irvine. Irvine again does good job to get that one away. Ten minutes remaining in the game. It's Condrich. Battling with Pierce. This has been a very, very close game. Mark Kramer. Ken Lala. Lala brought down. It's not how I played that one inside. The loose trying to get it away and all the way back to Bill Namoski. Here's Welch Slothauer. So far he's got the game winning goal if it carries on like this. And the Wolves have got 9 minutes 27 seconds. So get this one for the victory. The first of the season it will be against the Canton Invaders. Superb save by Victor Petroni. Now let's see if the Roos can do anything with it. Away goes Pierce. Pierce. Faced by four men. Canton doing such a good job to get back on defense. Here's Christensen. Powers. Christensen. Blocked by Tima. And up and then Mosky gets that one. One end to the other. Indoor soccer action from Wing Stadium. Come down and see it. Here's 
Here's John Tobin. And Kato's going to control this one. Gets himself in a little bit of trouble. Pikusinski and Kato. Killingsworth on the field for the first time. Matt Garrett comes away with it. Four on two break for the Kalamazoo Kangaroos. Garrett going forward. Cross the red line. Garrett trying to get some space. Gets past Conglitch. On the far post, Pierce. Garrett finally pushed down and it's going to come out to Kato. Blocked. Garrett tripped up and we're going to get a pushing foul. Kick to the Kalamazoo Kangaroos. Eight minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the game. Cancer leading it 2-1. Garrett elects to get it to Cato, who booms his shot. And Petroni will come out and save this one. Clears it forward to Powers. Ted Powers gets it back to Mark Christensen. Christensen. To Pierce. It's Paz. Trying to get the and he's gonna get a free kick. John Tobin pushing Teddy Paz. Mike Garrett outside to Kato. Kato shoots it to Paz, comes back, and then Mosky makes the save. Seven and a half minutes to go. Here's Pikusinski battling with Kato, Christensen, and Kato comes away with it. Oh my word! That is an abysmal call, but the Kalamazoo Kangaroos have got it against them. Must have been for an after ball incident. gets it back to Petroni. Seven minutes and ten seconds to go in the game. The loser still 2-1 down. Pierce. Oh, nice play by Dave Pierce. Can he get it back into Powers? Anderson covering. Christensen. Over on the far side, Mike Gertz. Just over the top of Gertz. Kato battling with Slaughter. Kato wins this one. Back to Petroni. Here's Petroni. It's a Peter Ford to chase. And a Mosky. To Ian Anderson. Let's go lose the crowd shot at Wing Stadium. For the second time in a week, Chris Bartel's team involved in a very, very close contest. And with the two top teams in the league, last week a 5-3 defeat at the hands of Louisville. And this week, so far, they're 2-1 down, but are playing a good game of soccer. to Glenn Irvine, plays it inside, and Irvine again out to Ridgeway, good play by Glenn Irvine, inside's Kevin Flynn, and Flynn goes down, free kick to the Invaders, No, no. 
Lewandowski. Where's he going? Peter Ford. Oh, what a good tackle by Oscar Pizzano. Oscar Pizzano saves his team a certain goal then. Here's, here's Lala. Lala gets it inside. Kramer with a dummy shot. Out with a shot. It's the post. Kramer. Oh, and a good save. And Petroni comes on with it. Nice move by the invaders. And the loose hang on. Here's Irvine. Irvine shot. Oh, what a superb shot by Irvine. And that was curling all the way. And it hit the post. Here's Kramer. Petroni trying to clear it away. Flynn goes down. Kramer blocked by Tony Wicker. Anderson puts it wide and Ford gets it away. Tony Wicker with two block shots then and Petroni with a save. And the Roos clear that one away. Here's Anderson. Good shot by Anderson and Petroni holds it up. Long ball played through the Ridgeway. Ridgeway shot, the three line offside's called. Tima, four minutes, 21 seconds to go. A timeout called by the Invaders. With 2-1, the Invaders leading. We'll be back in just a few seconds. seconds to go. A very, very noisy crowd standing on their feet. 15,000. I beg your pardon. 1,553. 15,000 will be nice. 1,553 fans coming alive. Searching for that first win over the invaders of the season. Three minutes, 57 seconds remaining. Petroni comes out, clears this one away. And down for Teddy Paz to chase. Paz, Dave Pierce in space. Paz. He had a golden opportunity to pass it to Dave Pierce. Paz again comes away with it. Teddy Paz to Mike Garrett. Here's Pierce back to Cato. He drives one. Garrett over the top. Shot. A save to Petroni! Free kick, Kalamazoo! Into the 
little bit of a discussion going on. Mike Gard, Victor Petroni, and the head referee. Neil Ridgway, the captain of the Carmazoo Kangaroos, down in there as well. Some of the crowd getting on. It's getting a little rough down there, but it's three minutes and three seconds remaining in the game. The Blues are down by two goals to one. Decision down on the corner of the field, the crowd getting impatient. sorted out and now Victor Petroni calls a timeout. Nick O'Shea is going to go to his six men. Ball has to be in play before Victor Petroni can call a timeout. There was a foul, they took it quickly. Petroni calls a timeout and we've got a 2-1 ball game. to go with the sixth attacker, Nick O'Shea, in goal now as the Blues try and push forward to get a goal. Two minutes, 52 seconds to go. O'Shea is shot. Ridgeway's in there. And cleared out by Oscar Pizzano, who's played a stalwart game on defence this afternoon tonight for the Canton Invaders. Back to O'Shea, Kato calling for it. Comes out to Kato, Ridgeway, and knocked away by the invader defense is Kato. Back to O'Shea, two and a half minutes to go. The excitement here at Wayne Stadium, Kato inside to Ridgeway, Ridgeway. Back to O'Shea. O'Shea plays it in. Mike Garrett tries to get it on the end of it. He's gone now. Comes clear. Garrett. And the ball and the Mosky just manages to get to it. It's Killingsworth. And Cato. Killingsworth takes a dive. It comes down to Ted Pass. Pierce. Less than two minutes to go. The Wills desperately searching for the equalizing goal. O'Shea out to Cato. Pierce. 
O'Shea again, 1 minute 41 seconds remaining in this game. O'Shea through to Paris. Paris with a shot. And Tobin heads it up. Knocked down by Paris. Here's Mike Garrett. Moose, and they're going to try and get it away. Cato, can he get his shot in? Good play by Paul Cato. Ridgeway, only as far as Killingsworth. And the Hoos have got to get back. Here's Cato. One minute and 13 seconds to go. Ridgeway, and the Muskie holds that one. We've got less than a minute to go. 2-1, the Invaders leading. Looking for their 11th successive victory. The Hoos trying to get their first over the Invaders this season. The Muskie with a save. And Ridgeway couldn't quite connect on that one, and it's going to come for a kick into Kato. Forty-five seconds remaining. Two-one, the Invaders leading. Let's go, Roos. Chan the fans here at Wayne Stadium. Kano, back to O'Shea. O'Shea out to Pierce. There's Mike Gow, what can the Roos do? Garrett, Pierce! Pierce trying to get in on the act. And a long ball, three lines. Three line pass, no goal. 26 seconds remaining. Think they want a couple more seconds added back on the clock. 26 seconds remaining in this contest. 2-1. The Invaders leading. O'Shea. Inside. Pass to Kato. The has got it and he's going to hold it for as long as he possibly can. He hurls this one downfield. Pierce. Pass. What can the Roos do? Oh, and a good tackle on the invaders coming away with it. Five seconds remaining. Oh, Kramer doing a good job holding it against the boards and this game is over. And the Canton invaders record their 11th successive victory with a very, very close victory. 2-1 over Chris Bartels, Kalamazoo Kangaroos. And a very close game. The winning goal coming at 1.13 of the third period. Rod Slotow from Oscar Pizzano. We hope you've enjoyed this broadcast. Tom Saladegui was your cameraman and technical director. We hope you'll stay down and watch the Rue Soccer 86 and Kalamazoo Access. But with the final score of Canton 2, Kalamazoo 1 from Wing Stadium, the Roos at 8 and 14, the Invaders moving to 21 and 3 from Wing Stadium. This is Dave Pye saying good night.